Wow, that's wow. a lot of bass. That's a lot of bass. <laughs> Welcome back to Sports Rap Live. And it's not everybody. even dubstep stuff. <laughs> I know, man. That's real hip hop right there. Welcome back to Sports Rap Live. We are here at the Reliance Center for the H Town Sneaker Summit 2012 Winter Edition. We got a lot of friends in the house, man. A lot of family. Rat packs in the building. Some of our sponsors, of course, this broadcast is brought to you by BC Smoke Shop on Westheimer and 1960 in Jones Road. Make sure you guys go by there. Tell them about the Rat Pack special. We got some cards to give away. If you guys go to BC Smoke Shop, my man Jay Nature's got a special discount card just for you. 20% off any purchase of $100 or more. So uh, make sure you guys go by there. Tell them that Sports Rap Live sent you. And uh, we just just talking some college basketball in the Martinez Report. But we're going to continue on with some baseball talk. We're going to take it to the Diamond. And, of course, each and every week, Sports Rap Live is brought to you by Diamond Supply Co. at DiamondSupplyCo.com. Shout out to Nikki Diamonds, Yousef, my man Hooligan Josh, Brock's here. The whole gang is in the building. Chris Starrs just showed up, man. You know it's a party. Yeah, they're actually here. People think we're probably lying. No, they're right there. Right next to us. Right next to us. And, so. and they're slinging those uh, pocket full of stones. C crazy. <laughs> no, it's They're not. like flying off it's, that table. <laughs> of course, the pocket full of stones is a collab for Bun B, and all proceeds go to Pimp C. Rest in peace to the pimp. Yep, goes straight to his family. 100% of the proceeds. What other streetwear brand do you know that gives 100% of the proceeds of a t-shirt sale, a hot t-shirt like this, 100%? None, usually. To the they family. Say, they say they do, but, but yeah. But they don't. Yeah, they don't get down like that, man. Well, we got some special guests coming up this hour. Um, I'm going to get my man Puku one on here in just a little bit. Um, but right now, man, let's continue in the Martinez report. It talks in baseball. Um, you know how Jim Crane, we were talking Thursday now, how Jim Crane basically came out and said he's going to make some changes now that he, uh, he has bought the team. He bought them from Uncle Drayton. And the first thing that really caught our attention was the fact that they're going to the American League. Now there's some talk that they might change the name of our Houston Astros. What's up with that, man? I, I don't get it. I think it's just marketing, Adam. I think it's just... They're going to celebrate the 50th anniversary this year of the Astros. The different logos they're going to have on Friday. On Friday nights, they're going to have the retro gear with the Colt 45s, the rainbow themes, even the old uh, navy blue and, and uh, gold they had going on. So I think after you celebrate for 50 years of the Astros name and the logos and whatnot, you're not going to just flush all that down the toilet and start changing the team, team name to something different just because you're going to a different league. Well, rumor has it that they're going to change the name to the Cardinals. <laughs> the Houston <laughs> Cardinals. Houston Cardinals. Yep. You mean we're going to change it from the Houston Philly uh, Phillies farm system? <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, it's gone. Yeah. So, yeah, you can you can forget about the but about about the Phillies, the, the uh, Houston Phillies. Now it's going to be the Houston Cardinals because apparently, from what I understand, Roy Oswalt is uh, is is about to sign with the Cardinals. There are rumors that he is going to try and sign with them. There are rumors that they have been he had talked to uh, shut down an offer from the Tigers. There are rumors that he's going to meet with the Rangers. And this really stems from, I think he would have signed pretty early, uh, much earlier, but his back issues, Adam, he's had back issues with, uh, since whenever he left Houston. But those are kind of, I, I think, slowing down him getting a deal done. But if he ends up with the Cardinals, I mean, to see Lance Berkman and Roy Oswald yeah. play for that team, I mean, that's like, a, that's like a, a punch in the gut. It really is. Of all teams for, for both those guys, because yeah. those were the core players after the Biggio and Bagwell era that were really supposed to usher this team to the you know to the new the new team the new Astros and I think whenever we talk like this I think it makes fans realize a little more about just how much we're gonna miss the NL. We like you know having that rivalry with the Cardinals you know even though we're not to the Cardinals level but we like you know rooting against them and it, and it pains us to see our players them. But once we're in the AL I'm not so sure that we're always gonna have the Cardinals on our mind nope. but it's still gonna be like hey they have our players. Well, if they do decide to actually change the name, we might have to send Truck Buck down there <laughs> to tell Mr. Jim Crane, we don't want our Astros to change. Uh -huh. All right? What, changing leagues is fine. It's something fresh. It's something new. I understand it was part of the stipulation of, uh, of, of them you know, going to the American League. Right. It's part of the, tr of the sale of the team. Of the sale of the team. Absolutely. Uh, but the Trillo Gladiators are in the building. I'd be remiss if I didn't shout out the Trillo G, Bun B, who was here. He is live in effect. Of course, you guys can hear him each and every Thursday on Sports Rap Live. He's going to get some of his 
He's going to get some of uh, some of his stuff set up over here. Yeah, we can move it back. We can we can push it back. Uh, um, give, yeah, I, I have a question for you. Being a All baseball right. guy, do you really think Jim Crane will change the name? No, I think when I would, no. if I was a betting man, I would put all my money on him not changing the team or the logo. I mean, maybe there might be a tweak to it or something like that, but they're not going to drop the star or, or the name. The Astros, that's part of Houston. It's part of the, the Rockets. You know, it's part of the whole thing that we had going on. Even the Oilers before then, it's something about the city. The Houston Texans, I think fans like that kind of name, mostly because the logo was so cool, so good with the kind of the bull, you know, with the horns and whatnot. I think fans, fans were kind of skeptical at first because the Texans name, the Houston Texans, it really makes sense. But I think fans have grown on, there, have grown on them with the logo. I don't see there's any way that they can actually change from the Houston Astros to something different. Guns, if you had to pick for a different logo or team name, what would you pick? <laughs> I was going to say juggling-wise would be the uh, Junction Jack. Just because we have the RV there. Junction Jack. Oh, <laughs> Junction Jack. Junction Jack. Uh, what about, what about not Jackalopes? <laughs> not a fan of that either. <laughs> Come no, on, there's got to be something. I was thinking. I want like, like Ninja Star. I was Star, thinking. Like I had two. Well, you have the Houston Texans. You have Houston Houstonians. Or the Houston Harrisons for Harris County. Can't get any worse uh, than that. That's too yeah. like government documentation <laughs> yeah. stuff for me. Now, along that line of thinking, let's have the electric chair, you yeah. know? <laughs> the Houston lethal injections. Because <laughs> Harris County, you know they're putting them, da putting them wow. down. You know they're putting yeah. them down. How about the trustees? You call the Houston trustees? I don't know. I don't know about oh, that. Too bad. Know. That's like a form I get in the mail. No, I don't want that. <laughs> no, no, no. It's quite right. Well, if you guys have any suggestions out there and you want to call in, ring us up at 713-212-5790. Give us your best, best Houston suggestions for the for the baseball team. I have yet to hear a good one, Adam. Uh, the only thing I've heard that's even rem remotely piques my interest is going back to the Colt 45s. Mostly because I like the logo and I like the hats and whatnot. Mm. But other than that, I can't think of a, uh, a single good na new name change I've heard of. Yeah, oh, that's um, true. Yeah, no, Bunch is telling us they're them. not going to let him <laughs> have it. And Bob, our, our Bob, and Bob our station, he also told us on Thursday they're not going to let him have it. So, so. I, I mean, the best they can work with is maybe the Houston AK-47s. <laughs> 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 See if they let that slide through. Uh -huh. But as far as any guns, as far as any gun <laughs> names, you know, no Houston AKs, no Houston Uzis. Don't, don't we have like know. an igloo factory here? The Houston igloos. There you go. Igloos? What? Oh, man. <laughs> Come on. What we about got, the Mockingbirds? <laughs> oh, man. The Houston Mockingbirds. State Bird. <laughs> I, I really have yet to hear a good one, Adam. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, let's let's continue. What else is going on in baseball? I know uh, Tim Lincecum just recently oh, signed a big man. deal. Fat money. Uh, yeah, big money, man. For such a little dude, man, he's skinny fat. He's yeah, rich. He signed a big deal. There's talk right now that Carl Crawford is still. He might start the season on the DL for the the Red Sox. That's just what the Red Sox oh. need. If he starts out uh, injured this next season, it's pretty much going to be game over with the fans of Boston because they already hate that signing. Yeah. I mean, they hate it. So I and they still haven't figured out who's going to play their shortstop for that team. What the, they got rid of all their shortstops. They did. So I have no idea what's going to go on them. You know, the baseball world is still spinning after the, the Victor Martinez injury, which has now led to the signing of Prince Fielder in, in Detroit. That's right. That's right. Of course, Detroit now has. Uh, I don't know if you want to call it a murderer's row. They might have like an eatery row. Yeah, like a uh, buffet murderer's <laughs> row. Dang. A buffet line. <laughs> but you Miguel Cabrera going to third base now, I, I, that's just not going to work out at all defensively. Well, He's going to get hurt. He's going to get hurt, Adam. When the signing first happened, I mean, we all thought that, that, he, that they were going to split time at DH at first base. Right. And then Miguel Cabrera was like, no, I'm going to switch back to my old position and go back to third base. That's just not going to be a smart move. He's going to get himself injured is what's going to happen. That's a different player than the guy that played third base for the Marlins. That's a different weight class Absolutely. from the player that was here that's playing right now. So Absolutely. I don't, I don't see how that's going to work out at all. But it's going to be interesting because this Detroit team, with just those two heavy hitters, I mean, that's a totally new offense considering in that division, the Indians, we kind of saw them make it off to a good start. They didn't really handle it and keep it going. But if you can still get that pitching staff going between another season, you know, of that pitching staff, well, it's going to be yet to be seen. So, Well, of course, they have the best pitcher in the American Berlander, League. Berlander. A horse. That guy's the nominee to get, throw a no-hitter or a shutout every time he steps on the mound. I've never seen any pitcher like him that throws 100 still in the ninth inning. It's insane. It's amazing. It, yeah, it's, it's – he gets – he throws faster as the game goes on. It's, it's pretty interesting. Whereas most guys lose velocity. He builds velocity. He builds velocity. Or maintains it at least. <laughs> yeah, for sure. 
What about in the uh, in the National League? Anything else that we need to know about? Anything you need to catch us up on? Uh, there's talk about Ricky Weeks and his ankle still not 100%. That's going to be a different... The NL Central next year is going to be totally up for grabs. I think the Reds... I'm still going to pick the Reds against th again this season after they made a, a couple trades and whatnot to retool their team. Uh, now they got Matt Latos for the Padres. But the Brewers aren't going to be the team they were last year, mostly considering they don't have Prince Fielder anymore. Ricky Weeks is going to have to carry that team again. Oh. And... Adam, they just didn't lose Prince Fielder, but they lost Ryan Braun to the suspension now. So oh, that, this Brewers e game. Yeah, this Brewers team is going to be decimated to start the season. It's going to be Ricky Weeks. And if he's not healthy, this team could very well end up in third or even fourth place next season, Adam. I mean, it's going to be really bad for the Brewers to start the season. Well, yeah, they just lost their big bopper. Wow. Yeah, and Ryan Braun. So, I mean, those two combined, that's really going to hit them hard. Whose division is it for the NL Central? I think you probably have to say the Cardinals for right now, mostly because they made the playoffs Wait, last the year. the Houston Cardinals or the St. Louis Cardinals? St. Louis Cardinals. They're also getting back Wainwright, though, but they lost Albert Pujols. That's a big, you know? big killer right there. I think the Reds are going to take it, but I think I think most people would pick the Cardinals right now. I don't know, maybe, maybe between them and the Reds. Yeah, hey. The Reds actually were picked last year. And and what happened with that? So I, I guess I... I guess after saying all that, you know, I'd probably say the Reds are going to be favored because the Reds are the team that are still from last year intact, but they traded some of their prospects to get a pitcher. There's some talk that Joey Votto could be next on deck to get the Prince Fielder type contract. Do you think Votto will get that kind of money? He is more deserving of that money, mostly because he's going to age more well, well in that body. He's going to grow into that role. Whereas Prince Fielder, what's he going to grow into, Adam? The next 45, 6 or 46 uh, waist size jeans? I mean, <laughs> there's not more room for him to grow. A player like that doesn't age well. It's good that he's going to the AL because he's going to age into the DH position, but Vado doesn't need that. Vado's already a pretty athletic first baseman. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, hey, uh, I don't know if we're going to get out to Kissimmee or we're going to get out to spring training, but Andrew Martinez will be covering the Astros all season long right there from the locker room to Sports Rap You Live. know it. I cannot wait to get some of those uh, – some of the insights, some of the interviews from the young guys. Of course, Altuve. we got to see what kind of year Altuve has. My brother from another mother, J.D. Martinez. Uh, that's right. That's yeah. right. A lot of these young guys. This is the last year of the Carlos Lee deal. God, that seems like that, that's been like 20 years. <laughs> end of that. And you know what? It's going to be the end of the last year in the NL. So it's going to be the last time, Adam, that we're going to get to see a lot of the home. These teams come and travel to the uh, Minute Maid for the NL squads. The Cardinals, the Dodgers that we used to be a big rival with. The Reds, the Cubs, who we've always loved to hate. The, yeah. the Mets. Yeah, what has Theo done? Theo really hadn't made a big splash yet. So we'll get into that more and more as we get closer to spring training. Pitchers and catchers just a few weeks away. Hey, uh, we want to thank you guys for tuning in to Sports Wrap Live. We're going till 6 p.m., of course, right here at Reliance Center. And uh, the summit's open till 8 p.m. So make sure you guys, make sure you guys check us out. And uh, when we come back from the break, we're going to get into more sports sounds and sneakers right here on Sports Wrap Live. Bun B's in the building, everybody.